Hello everyone. My name is Todd. A bit about my background. I was a caregiver for 25 years, first for my dad and then for my mom. They had me late in life. My dad was 49 and my mom was 44. Yeah, I know it's an accident. <laughs> I've lived in Amherst my whole life. I graduated from Amherst Regional High School and worked in a drugstore after that. When I was 22, I decided I had enough of that. So I took some correspondence courses to upgrade some of my lower grades and was accepted at university. Unfortunately, I never made it there. That summer, my dad had a stroke and my mom couldn't handle him. So I moved home to spare them from being separated by my dad being put in a nursing home. Dad lived for nine years. After that, I looked after my mom. Her walking was at a point where she needed assistance. She passed away on April 5th, 2017. If you had told me a year from in that day, I'd be in Halifax giving a speech to literacy in Nova Scotia, I would have told you to go jump in the lake. This is where Canyon came into my story. I'm not sure what I expected when I went to Canyon. Not what I got out of the experience, I can assure you. In a lot of ways, I was lost. I had a purpose, but it was gone. I was still in mourning, or self-pity, or some combination of both. How was I going to get a job? I had no skills, no references, and no experience. I know you can't tell by looking at me, but I'm a bit of a nerd. I was always good with computers. I could take a PC apart, identify its components, and find the part that was giving me trouble, and reassemble it into a working machine again. Before Can You, I never considered that doing that to myself. Take myself apart and see what was working and what wasn't. Now, this wasn't an easy process by any means. There was a lot of hard work. Lots of self-assessment questionnaires, essays and reflection paragraphs written to deconstruct me as a person and to seriously look at my skills, aptitude, and personal traits, both good and bad. Sounds simple, right? Well, it wasn't. Sometimes when you look in a mirror and don't like what you see, you just avoid mirrors. I just kept saying to myself something my dad always said, you only get out what you put in. Last summer I applied for many jobs, and despite my best efforts, I couldn't find anything. Looking back, I realized my resume was a mess of self-doubt, and my interview techniques were barely above the level of incoherent babbling. It mostly consisted of me restating my resume and hoping they'd see something in me I couldn't see for myself. To put it in nerd parlance, it wasn't a hardware issue, it was a software problem. <laughs> One of the first things we did at Canyon was to write a life history paper. A lot of foreign concepts came spilling out of me. In writing this speech, I had others read it for me. One comment I got was, it's more about, you, more about your parents than it is about you. One of the strange concepts I was rediscovering was me, I. Being a caregiver meant, in a lot of ways, there was no me. When I was asked, do you want to go for a coffee? The thought process wasn't, do I want to go for a coffee? It was, is mom feeling well enough today to have someone in? Are my daily chores surrounding her done? The concept of me is something I'm still working on. I like to think of Can You as my decompression chamber between a quiet life of working at home and a life of working with people again. Can You gave me the chance to get the nitrogen bubbles out of my blood. It gave me a safe place to make mistakes and try new things without the root worry of scorn or humiliation because everyone else there was going through a similar, well, not exactly the same experience. And frankly, Beth would not put up with any negativity. I remember the day we had Literacy Nova Scotia in for our creative writing workshop. Honestly, I was sick. That morning, I called Beth to let her know I wouldn't be there. She talked me into coming in because she thought it would be an special experience that I wouldn't want to miss. Now, I've always been a fairly creative guy, painting, writing, and I'm obviously not shy. I didn't think I'd get much out of the workshop, but I was so glad I was there that day. That wasn't what I was expecting. The act of creative writing had a profound emotional effect on a lot of my classmates. 
It never entered my mind that a writing workshop would have this kind of effect on people. I'm so, I'm so glad I was there to offer them a kind word of support and a shoulder to cry on. Their experience with literacy turned out to be my experience with literacy. So, where did all this reflection and self-examination get you, Todd? What are you doing now? Well, I'll tell you. I had to leave the program early because I got a job at VO in Canada as a CSA. That's a client service associate. I scheduled 200. <laughs> I scheduled 200 employees, both nurses and home support workers, to about 300 visits a day to all of Cumberland County, which is a huge area I quickly learned. I also troubleshoot for nurses in the field, providing them with the information they need to care for the community. Oh yeah, community. I forgot to mention that important part of the Canyon program. Personally, it's something I'd like to see expanded in the future. Getting out there and volunteering and meeting different segments of society is a great way to understand what they're going through and their challenges and to see where you might fit in. Since I finished my CSA training, I began volunteering for Meals on Wheels as well as volunteering in the VON office and VON charitable programs. That sense of community can be rekindled in me is something I hope to continue the rest of my life. In conclusion, I'd like to thank you for listening to my long-winded speech on my time at Canyon. I could go on and on because I think they provide such a valuable resource for the community and I'm so helpful for the help, the help they gave me. I realized I had a leg up because I had my grade 12 and other skills going in. But that doesn't mean if you need more upgrading, you can't do it. There's just an extra step or two. Just be open to new experiences and don't listen to to people who say you can't do it. And don't listen to that inner nagging voice of negativity. It makes me think about a meme I read recently. Ships don't sink from the water around them. Ships sink from the water that gets in them. I like that. Negativity has a way of seeping into our lives if we're not careful. Can you give me an appreciation for what I've always taken for granted? I was brought up by parents that were reading to me before I was able to understand what they were saying. They gave me a foundation. Now I understand the gift they were giving me and the importance it would have in my life. My time at Canyon taught me to appreciate, respect, and admire people that are willing to address their literacy barriers, whatever form it takes. Whether it's fundamental literacy or digital li dig media and digital literacy, financial literacy or civic and ethical literacy, saying I can do better is the first step, and places like Canyon can help you get there. That reminds me of something else my dad always said. Don't focus on the height of the mountain, focus on the path that gets you over it. My dad would love Canyon and his motto, can you? Yes, you can. Okay.